everyone, I am Mecha Random 42, your favorite YouTube harpy, and we got some Avengers news. More importantly, it's the Avengers Endgame posters that they were talking about. These are actually really, really cool. I like how they did it. So they, they basically have gone in and done the, this really cool thing where the survivors are in like color and then all the fallen, all the people who've turned into dust are in black and white. This is a really, really interesting thing. This is one is really good because for people, you know, who, who there's just so many characters, you're going to forget half the people you see on screen sometimes. and You'll be like, oh yeah, that's right. This person did die. I need to go back and rewatch that. This reminds me, I need to rewatch that before end game hits. But, but it, it does for, for kind of the more casual viewers, which, you know, some of us are a little more casual to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, me, than other people. And actually admit it. I do admit it. So that's the thing. And and that's that's why I tell you guys, I want my nerd cred to be earned in the things that, that I have it in. And when it's when I'm a little more a little more casual in my in my geekdom, I do get, let you guys know. So huge Star Trek Stargate fan like very, very much so like many, many, many of the Marvel Cinematic Universe films as well, because, you know, it's all in a kind of science fiction fantasy sort of realm, right? But this is really cool. I, I really like what they did here. So first up, we have some, uh, from some fans guessing that Vision has somehow survived. Marvel Studios dropped a huge batch of Endgame, uh, Avengers Endgame character posters today, featuring both survivors of Thanos' catastrophic snap in Avengers Infinity War, as well as some of the fallen, those dusted in the universe-altering event. While some of the posters were a little surprising, such as a poster seeming to confirm Shuri's grim fate, if it's quietly hinting that one fallen hero somehow survived. This is where weirdly worded. At, at least one has left some. At least has left some fans wondering if it's quietly hinting. Oh, okay, because I saw this clickable link and I went and skipped over it. You know, I'm leaving it in. I already flubbed by clicking it, and it gave me something I already have up in my tabs. So, this is why I'm like, I was gonna skip that line. The posters are pretty uniformly divided. The survivors are all in color, while the fallen are in black and white, which is kind of nice. I think it's a kind of it's a good touch. It's it's a very simple quick, easy way to get, okay, these are the live people, these are the dead people. Or dead, I should put in quotes. When it comes to the poster for Vision, however, his poster has a curious single line of color near the bottom. It's enough to have fans, including artist Boss Logic, wondering if that hint of color means Vision survived. See, I don't see a little hint of color. I am slightly colorblind, though, between blues and greens. I know, it's kind of weird. Most women aren't, I think, or, or, or something. My boy Vision has lost a line of color in his poster, but could be the best sign of life error on a poster. I don't... Here, here's the thing. I think that's probably just um, a mistake. I, I really do. So let, let's let's take a look at it. If, if we can see the very, bar, very bottom, I'm not seeing it. I'm certainly not seeing it. It's... Uh, this might be... They might have corrected it since then. But no, I'm not. I'm not seeing... Oh, right there. Okay. That's not a line of color. That looks like an error. That that looks like an error. So you just had to click on it. Comicbook.com. Don't use the tweet. Just like take the whole picture, screen cap it. No, this this looks like just a digital flub. This looks like, you you know, like when you're watching something and it kind of scrambles, or when when you have a file that doesn't quite encode properly. That's what that looks like to me. That doesn't look like he he somehow sur survived in this movie, even though they can clearly easily bring him back. Or, you know, he might be the only... Well, no, because they're they're making a Scarlet Witch uh, TV series and it's probably Scarlet Witch and Vision, isn't it? No, so he's fine. He's fine. Don't worry about him. As fans might remember, Vision wasn't snapped out of existence in Infinity War. That's right, he was killed beforehand. Since the Avenging Android technically wasn't a living being, Thanos' snap would have, wouldn't have wouldn't have had any impact on him. Instead, it was Thanos' ripping the Mind Stone out of his head that ultimately killed him, in quotes. However, before that, and even before Scarlet Witch attempted to prevent Thanos from getting the stone by destroying itself, Shuri had been working on trying to separate Vision from the Mind Stone. While she apparently ran out of time to complete it, it's very possible she was able to get far enough in the process that vision or at least a version of him continues to exist. Absolutely. I wonder, I wonder now this is just speculation. I haven't seen the movie yet. No, and they're so tight lipped with this. Of course, it's like the biggest secret ever. 
I wonder if like nobody ends up dying in this one because we're kind of expecting a certain amount of people to die. I don't know. And I know a lot of people are checked out already because of the whole Captain Marvel stuff. But this is this is still pretty fascinating. This is pretty interesting to me. If that's the case, then it could be possible to bring Vision back, though it's likely he wouldn't be quite the same. There's actually some precedence for that sort of scenario from the comics. In the Vision Quest storyline, Vision is abducted by the time traveler Immortus, who dismantles him. The Avengers are able to recover parts and rebuild him without having Simon, but without having Simon Williams' brain pattern to be used as a matrix for Vision's emotions, the recreated hero is emotionless and far from his previous self. Of course, if Vision is alive, as Data and Shuri's computer programming, getting him back might have a little roadblock on the way. Shuri appears to be among the snapped, much to the horror of fans. Here we go. This article. Don't play the trailer again. So here she is. Yeah, they, they have confirmed according that. Yes. Spoiler. Spoiler. Because we didn't see her. From what I remember. Anyway, it's been a year since I, I really need to go back and see this. I also wasn't covering Marvel stuff. I was still a gaming channel when this came out. So this is why the stuff isn't quite as fresh into my mind as, as, as it probably should be. This confirms that she did, that we did lose her. Man, see, that, and that sucks. And that, that really sucks. So what do you think? Do you think this single line of color means he's alive? No, it, it's, it's clearly, it's clearly to me anyway, it is clearly a digital little blip. But it could be intentional. Ooh, here's the thing. It could be intentional too. It could be that they said, "Oh no, he he's he's a, he's an he's an error in a file somewhere now." Mm, that could be it. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's probably just a little glitch in the digital file probably somewhere. At least what what do you guys think? <sighs> so so we do have it confirmed that here that she is probably dead. So there's a lot of questions surrounding Shuri's fate in Infinity War, considering there had been conflicting reports in the years, in the year, God, years, since the movie released. Last summer, a couple of months after Infinity War hit theaters, Angela Bassett was asked if her character, T'Challa's mother, Ramonda, Ramonda survived the snap. I'm saying the name wrong, aren't I? She said that she did make it through along with her daughter, Shuri. But did she? Did, but did she, though? However, when the first trailer for Avengers Endgame arrived, we saw a very much different side to the story. One scene, Bruce Banner looks at the computer screen that flashes images of known characters who were missing in the wake of the snap, and Shuri appears in one of the screens alongside Tom Holland's Peter Parker, who we witnessed turn to dust in the film. Ant-Man was the only ca character to show up on those screens and survive the snap, but he was thought dead at the time because he was stuck in the quantum realm. With Shuri now confirmed dead, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is left without a Black Panther. The only two prominent Wakandans who have been seen alive are Mbaka and I don't know how to pronounce the other one. I still need to see Black Panther. We are. I'm planning to watch it. I'm do, doing a watch party of Black Panther. This is why I don't know how to pronounce their names. I saw Mahler's video on it. I saw the entire plot. And I think I saw Dishonored Wolf's video too. So yeah, I, I, saw, I saw the plot of the movie. I just haven't actually sat down and watched the movie. <laughs> But I've seen pretty much every important scene a couple times over. And in, I want to say, uh, Nostalgia Critics in, uh, review as well. Probably everything wrong with... Yeah. So I've seen the entire plot of the movie. That's the one I do need to remedy. But yes, uh, <laughs> And the latter of which will likely play a substantial role in Endgame. Are you sad to learn of Shuri's fate? Okay, blah, 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 blah. So... Here's the fun part of the, the, the video here. There's been some um, pretty funny little memes going around of this. Like the the uh, the fallen. Oh, don't make me cry. That's actually, it's funny, but it's sad. Yes, yeah, so whatever it takes. This is why John Wick was a good movie. Look how sweet little, little puppy, puppy was. Now I'm, gonna, now I'm like legit going to start crying because that little dog was so adorable. I didn't want to see the movie because I knew what happened to the dog. Spoiler uh, in John Wick, that is kind of the point of the movie. Three-year-old, three movies in, spoiler, is that uh, people steal the wrong guy's car and kill the wrong guy's dog. And yeah, everybody fucking dies because of it. Because I, I would do the same. Sorry, I would do the same. Then there's also the really sweet ones like the Stanley tributes that are going around. 
which yeah that that that's that's very that's that's a good one that's a really good one he deserves that but then is he is he gone though we don't know if goose is gone because he's a flurkin and he might not he might not like they didn't have a picture of him right anywhere saying that he was dead Yes, Boss Logic recently shared his own take on the Endgame's uh, character posters, which show each character in a stark profile with the words Avenge the Fallen overlaid. The poster features Goose, the steam ceiling flurkin in black and white, insinuating that he did not survive the snow. No. No, Goose has to survive, because as you guys know, as you guys know, Orange Cat good. Oh, look at that face. He's so sweet. And he's like the best part of the movie. He pretty much saves the day in so many ways. You could not kill off that orange cat. And hopefully he'll be in the Avengers. I, I'm. Have you guys heard anything? I haven't heard anything. I've been looking though to see if we're going to see the best. I mean, if we have to be shoehorned in with Captain Marvel herself, we need the cat, right? Hashtag orange cat good. That makes me really sad. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Do you think Vision survived? What do, what do you think of that? That that was kind of just an interesting one uh, for me to, to make a quick video on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next video or live stream. And, and I know I need the little and bell. Mecha Random, P uh, Mecha Random 42, P.O. Box 1566, Loveland, Colorado, 80539 for unboxings or, you know, awesome. We, we get awesome stuff. Oh, I can't find my flurkin. I lost my flurkin. <sighs> I lost him. Like awesome, you know, cool unboxings and, and neat stuff that we get. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next video or live stream. Bye. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye!